Hi there, it's Ginny, learnwithginny.com. And what I wanted to share with you today is I wanted to answer a question. And it's probably one of my most popular videos is finding notes on Facebook. And it's probably because there aren't a lot of people that use the notes feature and the people who did use them to track the, you know, to write their poetry, to write stories and then Facebook just decided to take it away. And if you didn't back them up or keep them somewhere else, which is, you know, an important lesson to all of us is you can't rely on a platform to keep your stuff. So make sure that you are keeping it. You know, as a marketer, I keep my email list and I keep a backup of my email list because you never know. It might go away. Even the archived emails, if I really wanted to keep them, um, maybe I should. I should export them out or, you know, keep my own documents somewhere with my own backup. If there's stuff that's important to you, you should always, always, always back it up. You know, as a home business owner, there's stuff that you got to keep, you know, and you can't rely on a platform. You can rely on maybe, um, professional backup companies, maybe, maybe that. <laughs> I still wouldn't. I still would keep it extra. I mean, we used to call it um, in the IT world, you know, the three-step backup. You need a backup, you know, on your computer, a backup in the cloud, a backup off-site, which means away from wherever you work so that if that place had a natural disaster, you'd have a backup somewhere else that you could restore. So that little lesson said, if that's all you need, then, hey, great. I was happy to help you. Make sure you subscribe and like and share or, you know, comment. Let me know what other questions you have. I love answering your questions and giving you more content, especially if I have an answer. Now, I'm sorry it took me a long time to get this answer because I could not find my notes anymore. So this is an update video for the one that I created <laughs> gosh, two or three years ago when Facebook started getting rid of notes. So because I, it was easy to find them if you filtered your activity. Now I have two ways to find them. The first way is rather tedious, but I'm going to go through that first because it might be the only way for you. The last way at the end of this video, I will share an easy way. Um, but there's a couple of caveats that, you know, might not help. I don't know. But if, if you, if you, um, well, I'll get to it. So let me show you, um, the first way and how to find these notes. Okay. So I'm going to show you on mobile and on desktop. I know before I did two separate, um, my baby girl is in the background. Okay. So first I'll show you on mobile since I already have my phone up over here. And what you do is you hit the menu in the upper right hand corner then you hit your profile, see your profile, okay? Hit that, hit the little, um, some people call this a hamburger menu. I never ca I called it that, I just called it the three little dots, but <laughs> you know what? That's what, it, okay, so whatever it is, hit that little menu, hit activity log, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to scroll down to activity view activity history now hopefully this doesn't take yeah it might take a while to come up i was hoping not maybe i'll share the desktop while that is coming up so if it takes a while let it go because what it's doing is it's looking for your history oh it came up okay so this is my history right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to filter it by categories and i'm going to filter it by my posts and it's going to be text updates check-ins notes and more i'm going to hit that and it's going to think about it again hopefully oh it doesn't take uh, because i did it already maybe okay so this is the tedious part you actually have to scroll back in time until you find your notes and boy i wonder if i know the date i just thought of this if i know the date can I filter it by date? Let me see. Oh, I can. So if you know the date, let's do this. Um, 
let's go back. I got to go all the way back to, I wrote it down, of one of my notes. It might have been the very last one I did. Uh, I'll do this week right here to September. Oh, I got to choose the start date and the end date. I'll just do these three days because it was somewhere in there. That one note. And if I hit done. Okay, I think this is it right here. This is my note. I And you can't tell. Because you just know by the name of the post but if I tap it this is a note so I could hit see more and now I could copy and paste it export it what whoops I'm sorry I was let me uh, tap the phone and see what I can do here I can scroll to the bottom can I select it I can long tap it I can certainly take a screenshot. You probably can't hear me way over here, but I could take a screenshot of it. It does not look like I can share it. Can I share it? Nope, I can't even share it. Oh boy, so on mobile, on mobile you might be kind of limited. It doesn't even look like I can select the text, but at least I found it. So I guess at this point, you could hmm. if I go back again I wonder let me hit the dots here can I edit it nope that just edits, edits the title okay yeah the only thing you can do from your mobile is take a screenshot you know, you might be able to use, like, uh, if you convert it to PDF, um, there are apps that you might be able to at least, and of course, if you, you could print them. Once you take screenshots, you could print them. That'd probably be the best. At least you have the paper, right? Okay, so that's one way. Now, if I do the same thing on desktop, I'm curious. Let's find out if I will be able to, let me go to my profile, and then we hit the three dots, and we hit activity log, and my posts, I think it's taking a minute here. Yeah, this is taking a while. Why is it taking so long? I just did this a minute ago. Your posts. Oh, and you can't even see what I'm doing because my face is in your way. Sorry. Well, you could see it before when I was on the phone. And this is taking a while. So you might want to fast forward through this part. I don't re-record videos. I just do them, you know, like in a live type way. Let me try this again. I'm going to hit my profile. Hopefully you don't have this problem. I'm going to hit here. And I'm going to hit activity log. Your posts. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's the same exact procedure. You just go find your posts. Well, let's do it the other. This is the easy way, guys. Um, maybe once on your mobile, here's another idea for you. Once on your mobile, you could, you know, find some of them and then remember the names of them. So I can search. I already did this. I can search for the name of the article. And then what I do is I hit posts and then I hit posts from to narrow it down to my posts. And then I find, look at, here's my note. I can tap it because I knew the name of it. Um, not the whole name. I knew this part. 
you can call me Sue. So let's do this. I wonder. Oh, look at this. On your desktop, you can select the text. And can I copy? I can copy. So then I could bring up a Google Doc, right? Bring up a blank Google Doc and paste it in there. Sure enough. So guys, if you know the names of your articles, that would probably be the best. I'm going to go back because I also wonder if I can search. I'm just going to try this. Posts. And posts from me. Uh, yeah, it's going to find anywhere I mentioned a note. This was back when you could create a Facebook note. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else can I do? Can I say text? Nope. I posted that all over the place because I had a bunch of groups. Again, that's kind of tedious, hey? So if you know the names, that would be the best, I think. Let me go back to my profile and try that one more time. Uh, you know what? I wonder if I can do it this, this way, too. Settings and privacy. Uh, activity log. Maybe I can do it there. Your posts. No, it's just taking forever. Finally, you know, I didn't mention it, but there is one more way. And I'll just tell you this way. But what you can do is ask Facebook to give you a backup copy of all of your data. And... <laughs> I don't remember exactly where to do that. I'll do another video if you want it. Just comment and I'll, I'll be sure to do that. But you can um, request a backup of all of your Facebook data. And what's cool about that is if you ever lose your account, you have everything. You have your contacts. You have a list of all the people that you were in contact with. You have all of your posts. Again, it's tedious because you literally have to scroll through them all <laughs> to find your notes. But those are the possibilities. I hope that helps. I know that this desktop way of searching the archive or the activity didn't work so well, but it did work on my mobile. So maybe what you should do is use your mobile app to find them and then search the name of the note like I just did and copy and paste it into a Google Doc. I think that probably is what I would do after doing that and showing you. That's what I think would be the easiest way. I'll put the steps below this video, and hopefully that you find that helpful. Hopefully that helps you find your notes. And hopefully I didn't take too long to explain it and fumble around in my video. I don't, guys, I don't edit videos. I just put them out there. So if you find them helpful, that's great. Comment. If you don't, then just scroll on by and find somebody else who does it more um, concise. So I also do help my... Uh, clients narrow down a step by step just like I just did on this video I do that for people I will figure out the best way to do it and then we will work through it step by step you'll have the step by step so I, we usually do that in an hour session some of my clients like to have me on call like all year long so they'll pay for an annual subscription I do have a monthly subscription if you just wanted to stick around for a couple months um, or if you just wanted to have my help for an hour, you know, that's another possibility. So we'll see you later. Make it a great day. I hope that was helpful.